So if your pages and posts are getting de-indexed from Google, or you can say they're removed from the Google, then there's a perfect video for you. I know you put a lot of hard work and a lot of efforts and your pages and posts were ranking before and suddenly they disappeared from search engine ranking. So in this video, I'm going to give you five actionable steps so that you can fix those de-index pages and posts and rank them back on Google search engine. And guys, this will be a very detailed in-depth video. So make sure you watch this video until the end. And if you face any issue, don't forget to comment below the video. I'll reply to all the comments on this channel. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell because I create so many useful videos about blogging, search console, web development, SEO, and they will be really helpful for you to improve your knowledge and your SEO game. With that said, let's start the video. Okay, so step one will be manual action and security issues. So what you need to do is I want you to go to Google Search Console account and then left side bar you see the options security and manual actions. So we have two things here, manual actions and security issues. They both are very similar, but a little bit different. Manual actions, you receive this errors because you are trying to manipulate Google search engine rankings for your website or pages. You try to black hat SEO, you try to create auto generated content, you try to create a page in the bulk or maybe any spam exists on your website then you have manual action. Security issues, when your website was hacked, then you have security issues. But most of the cases, it will be manual actions, so you need to click on manual actions. And now here, you can see on my website, I do not have any manual actions, but I used to have manual action on my website. You can see view related message. In your website, you will see manual actions. If there was manual action in the past, if I click on view related message, you can see first manual action came here in 2019. And after one year, I was able to remove manual actions because there are a lot of spam on the website. We have some issue with the schema on our website, that's why we have manual action issues. So what are the manual actions? You can see the official page of Google where they explain everything about manual actions. So if your site abused with third party spam, user generated spam, spammy free host, structured data issues for your website, which you can see on Google Search Console report here. If you don't see there, you do not have manual action issues. You see structured data issues. If you remember a few days ago, on internet, everybody is saying that Google instant indexing API stopped working. It did not stop working it become more strict. So now it's working how it's supposed to be only for job blog posts or live streams. And before people were abusing this API and they were using this API to index any kind of blog post. So this is very funny. In one comment, a subscriber want to discuss about it. If what we can do, we use a normal blog post and then in the schema, we just add the schema that this is a job post. And then he asked me if this method will work, we we'll send indexing API will index that blog post because the schema is for a job post, but the blog post is not job post. So if you do such kind of things, you could have manual actions on your website. And manual actions are given by a human reviewer from the Google on your website. So if you have those manual actions on your website, it's going to take a lot of time to remove those from your website. So guys, make sure do not do any bad practice, spammy content, black hat SEO, or anything which is you're trying to trick Google to index your website pages or trying to gain more rank with wrong practices. If you're doing all things right, then there's nothing to worry about. Okay, second step would be you need to check your website for Core Web Vitals. So in your search console, you have this option on the left sidebar, Core Web Vitals. You can see here on my website for mobile devices, I have 143 good URLs and then some URLs which needs improvement and zero poor URLs. Guys, make sure you don't have poor URLs on your website. It is possible that which blog post was ranking before because the website is really slow. That's why now that blog post is not ranking. Google say, okay, this blog post is so slow. We are removing this blog post from the search engine. We are de-indexing blog post because somebody goes to that blog post and they have terrible experience. So make sure your website is fast, you use a good hosting. If you want my recommendation for hosting, check the description of this video and make sure your website is working really fast. You should not have any problem with code web vitals, otherwise the posts or pages could be de-indexed. If you want to watch detailed video, I create so many useful videos, how you can solve code web vitals issues. I will add the link in the description. After watching this video, go to the description and watch all the videos I explain in this video. It will really, really improve your knowledge and also make your website ranking higher in Google search engine. Okay, if the step two is good, you have no issues with code web vitals, we go to step three, which is the technical issues. So go in Google search console, what you need to do is from left side bar, you need to click here on pages here, and then from here, all known pages to do all submitted pages. You see we have 30, 80 pages which are indexed, 90 not indexed, and there are four reasons. And why the page not indexed, if you scroll the page, you can see the reason here. So these could be technical issue, that's why your post is being de-indexed from Google. For example, if we go here, crawl quality not indexed, and then we see a lot of pages here. For example, if I take this blog post, I click on the glass icon here. And then here two important things you need to check here. First is, is crawl allowed? Can Google crawl your website or not? Or indexing allowed is yes or no? If you see no in any of these points, then there's a reason your blog post and pages are not being indexed. It might happen sometime by mistake that these option turn no. So crawl allowed because you added a rule in your robot.txt file. Indexing allowed, no, 
because you had no index tag on your pages. Again, if you want to solve these two issues, watch the links in the description and you can solve this issue and your, your pages and posts will index after. And one more thing guys, all your pages and posts should be in sitemap. You can see here sitemap and then we have the sitemap. If you see here no sitemap referred, no sitemap, anything like this, it means that page or post is not added to sitemap. So make sure you add this page or post on sitemap. So yes, step one was good. You don't have any manual action or security issue website. Step two is good. You don't have any core web vital issues. Step three is good. You don't have a technical issue. Your website page added in sitemap. Robots.txt is good. Indexing is allowed. Now if all these steps are fine, what will be the fourth step? Fourth step is the quality of your content. For example, you can see these pages are not indexed. If I click one of these pages, you can see how the WordPress website. If I can see here, my content is very low quality. It's very thin content. So make sure your content is high quality. And now you must be saying, okay, it, the post or page was indexing before, but not anymore. What happened? If it was not good quality, how it was indexing before and now it's not indexing. So yes, it could happen. Your pages or posts, they're not good quality. They still get indexed on Google. But at the time Google decide to take down those pages and Google say, okay, there are much better pages exist on the internet. We don't want to waste our bandwidth of our servers to index these pages, which provide not great value. If you want to make content from low quality to high quality, again, I created a video about it. You can check the link in the description. Okay, if all four steps are good, no minor actions, security actions, no core web vital issues, no technical issues, no low quality content. The fifth thing which will be the most ultimate solution for indexing your blog posts is content freshness. For example, there's a blog post on a website which was indexing before but not indexing anymore. And you can see I write really high quality blog posts. It is indexed on Google. No issue with this blog post. What I need to do is because I wrote this blog post long time ago. I need to update this post. So content fresh is really important factor. When you update your post frequently, Google see, okay, this website is refreshing the content data and they're adding new value to the content. Google say this website is following all the good practices and Google not gonna de-index those pages which you created like few months ago, a few years ago. So guys, make sure update all the pages. And now you must be thinking it's gonna take a lot of time to update those pages. Yes, guys, it's gonna take time, but that is really important. You don't need to create completely new blog post. For example, you can see as a blog post, I can add just one more paragraph with more information on this blog post, or maybe I can add a new image on the blog post, or I can add a new internal link on this blog post. For example, here it is in a plugin. I can link here to a blog post which talk about plugins on the website. So it is really important guys that you refresh your content time to time. And guys, I know it is really frustrating experience when a blog post get indexed from Google. So make sure you check the links in the video, which I explained because SEO is really broad topic. But good thing is I created so many good videos about it, which are very easy to understand. And now it's just you, you have to put the time to watch those videos. I'm not just saying to get more views, but because those videos really going to help you to improve your SEO game. If you like the video, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. And I really appreciate it if you can share this video with friends, family, your colleague, or anybody who wants to learn SEO. And overall, if you want to get indexed quickly and rank top on Google, check this small place on screen. It will really, really help you out.